Hi, I'm Brian Knauss, co-founder of OWL, and we're back in San Luis Obispo, California to launch Space Ducks 3. In the next few days, we'll be launching a variety of payloads, both designed by OWL and our student and professor research teams at Cal Poly. Starting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, we'll be launching our first payload, codenamed Pinky, to about 100,000 feet, and we will test operating procedures and completing a link from ground station to space duck to landing location ground station. After that first launch, if successful, we'll launch a variety of payloads, sometimes multiple payloads at once, to test different sorts of connectivities, layered connectivities, data sharing, and connectivity from ground to drone, to aerospace node, to space and back. We're very excited about this and we hope you join us for the journey. On the launch day of Pinky One, we got to our launch location a little bit later than expected. We had to deal with some last minute technical issues, but nothing we couldn't handle. When we launch our payloads, there's a very specific procedure we have to go through. We have to let a specific amount of helium into the balloons based on the weight of our payloads. Before we actually launch, we do a final check on our payloads make sure our communication links are working and everything inside is assembled correctly. How are you going now? Don't yeah. for noise out. And we're so, rolling. So what's going to happen is you're slowly release the balloon and walk down the wire, letting the balloon, you know, inch by inch get higher. This yeah. is excellent. Yep. Yeah. All right, ready guys? Okay, I'm holding the box. Get it? Yep, good. Dixon, Topper. Send it. All right, Trevor. Okay. Gosh, send it. Peace. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> So the balloon is in the air. We're about at 18 kilometers of altitude. Um, it still is about 50 minutes to go before it's gonna come down. We're tracking all our data streams live. We have an Iridium SATCOM on there and we're tracking our live LoRa data through our two, set, uh, to our two antennas. Uh, and so far it's been successful. We're able to get data from our one ground station into the air, back to our other ground station. And we're communicating with the other side. So, so far everything has been successful. We have no cell service, but everything else of our systems are definitely working. Got it. Thank you, Juan. Kind of survived. Yeah. I want it. <laughs> 
<laughs> it worked. We're out here in the Central Valley of California, about 30, 45 minutes from Bakersfield, or as Jack and I like to call this area, balloon country, because every time we're out here, we're launching weather balloons. We've got five payloads we're launching today, three Project Owl payloads, one for Cal Poly, and then one kind of legacy experiment. So the wind seemed good. We're just outside of a farmer's ranch out here. We've talked to him, gotten approval to use his land, He's excited about the idea like we are, so he's given us this perfect space. It's low wind, it's clear of power lines, it's an open space that we can um, fill up our balloons and launch in a safe and effective way. So we're excited for this launch. Things are looking good. So uh, we're out here in uh, Central Valley. Um, we have uh, two payloads that are going up with uh, Pure uh, LoRa, um, 915 megahertz, and uh, what we want to prove this launch is that we can complete a uh, multi-hop uh, link from landing to launch, or from launch to landing uh, through the sky. Um, and so what I'm doing currently is uh, getting those payloads up and running, making sure they're tested, uh, and making sure that they're functioning as we expected, uh, and uh, making sure they're ready to go. Um, this is an interesting day. We're running several different types of payloads. We're running uh, radio electronics tests, experiments from the student research teams, mesh connectivity from OWL, as well as a couple, uh, a couple other um, experimental payloads. And addition, in addition to that, the most highest number of balloons we've ever launched in a day is two. And if everything goes well, today we will be launching five. Alright, so this is the first balloon. Jack's down here taking a weight on the grain scale. Uh, what are we at, Jack? We're only at about one, about a thousand grams of positive lift here. We're looking to target 3,400, I think it was. I'll have to go back and check the count.
only one with a reliable tracking device. With the recovery of TowerCore 1, the student research team devices, and other experimental payloads, this concludes the Space Ducks 3 launch event. We were able to reach a new high altitude record on the TowerCore 1 payload at over 91,000 feet. All of these space ducks experience temperatures as low as negative 30 or negative 40 Fahrenheit on the exterior and would experience pressures less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere at sea level. We'll be publishing the results and conclusions from this launch event in the coming days in a Space Ducks 3 report. We could not be more excited about the results from Space Ducks 3 and we're looking forward to hopefully in the future conducting Space Ducks 4. We hope to see you there. Thank you.